Grabman from Grabman Gaming here, and today I am playing WWE 13 on the PS3. The Attitude Era mode. We've moved on from Road to WrestleMania, and now we are into the Attitude Era. You're about to relive one of the greatest and most influential eras in all of WWE and sports entertainment history. An era that was creatively forged and defined by a new WWFE attitude. And I'll give you a hell yeah. WWE, the world leader in entertainment, has electrified audiences around the globe for over 60 years. Welcome to a global phenomenon! Today, WWE superstars entertain 13 million members of the WWE universe. You know it! Oh, today's guys still here. 145 countries and in 30 different languages each week. The champ is here! But it wasn't always this way. On January 11th, 1993, WWE broke new ground when it premiered Monday Night Raw. The hottest live action around! Me and Manhattan Center. With virtually unlimited financial backing, WWE's chief competition, World Championship Wrestling, was acquiring many of the top superstars that helped turn WWE into a worldwide phenomenon yeah, in the Hogan, 1980s. Wake up, Savage. Is being made. Sid. On September 4th, 1995, the first episode of WCW Monday Nitro aired hey, the in the of America. opposite Monday Night Raw. The Monday Night War was on. For nearly one year, WWE and WCW saw ratings leads traded back and forth. This capacity crowd jam-packing the arena. Eventually, WCW pulled ahead while WWE's ratings plunged. Soon, WWE's survival was in question. It was time for WWE to shake things up, to create an experience unlike anything fans had seen before. It was time to usher in a new era. Surely the era of the superhero who urged you to say your prayers and take your vitamins is definitely passe. Therefore, we've embarked upon a far more innovative and contemporary creative campaign that is far more invigorating and extemporaneous than ever before. Extemporaneous. This is the story of eight men who shun tradition to redefine it. Austin 316 says I just whipped your... No, no, no. Rest in peace. Best there ever will be. Have a nice day. Eight men who battled each other to win a war. The impossible has happened. And it all started with a group of degenerates. We are the generation X. You make your rules, and we will break them. Epic Root and China are in it. W. It's 1997. They're just under a four, and WWF just above a three. Here he comes. The hot break. Kid, Shawn Michaels. So we have finished Road to WrestleMania. I felt like I was playing Road to WrestleMania forever, but I've been playing these games all the way from Just Bring It through to WWE 13, it's the last WWE branded game, next it will be branded as 2K, so it's just two years for the strangely named WWE 12 and 13, but we've moved into the Attitude Era with Shawn Michaels and D-Generation X, which we've seen the Crabman play through before, I'll play everyone's intro once so you can see the whole thing, chat a little bit over the top so it doesn't get taken down. And then after that, I'll just play into the ring introductions of them. And here's Mankind with his different ring entrance and ring exit things. Weighing 287 pounds, Mankind! So if you read his book, he described it as wanting to be like Hannibal Lecter. So really creepy music coming to the ring or before he was going to maybe commit a crime or an atrocity and then afterwards just some really calming piano music when he was victorious. The 
here is the brown mankind attire. We put the symbol on his back just so it didn't just look like an all brown outfit. Okay, move strike, grapple, iris, rip. I've had a little bit of practice, but I am a little bit rusty. I tend to get a little bit better at these games the more I play. So by the time you get to the end of this Attitude Era mode, I'll be pretty good, but I'll probably be pretty terrible to start. And this is a no disqualification match as well. I know my objective is hit him with the chair. There's a sledgehammer under here. Maybe just as a precursor to the gamer. Oh man, that sledgehammer is so devastating. He's getting tenderized right now. Right, let's see if there's a chair under here. There is. Look where he's going Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Back into the ring now. Big running chair shot and win by pinfall. Feeling it out, perhaps here. Well, thanks for joining me in these Attitude Era playthroughs. Neckbreaker on the chair. That could be it. I'll kick out at one. Don't expect a lot of mercy to be shown here. Listen to that chop echo throughout the arena. Oh, sharpshooters on early. Oh no, it's not sharp shooter, it's a weird version of a figure four. Oh, We're doing the figure four without a spin. Anyway, if you're enjoying this video, I don't show very often, but if you like this video, that would be awesome. If you comment, I will definitely comment back. I love it when you have a chat down the bottom. And also, if you subscribe, that is awesome as well. A couple other ways to support the channel if you click on the description. And that is the end of the shields. I think it's an elbow drop. Oh. I think they're wrong way. Went the wrong way. Oh, no. More drop kicks. Another drop kick. This keeps getting up from the drop kick. Another drop kick. Four drop kicks. Since we've seen Shawn Michaels, four drop kicks. All right, super kick. Look out! Boom! Drag him to the middle. We got a cover. Two. Oh, oh, kick out of two. Just gets his shoulder up. Oh, mankind felt that. And there's an elbow drop. I tried to the breaking point submission. If you hold down. X, that's the breaking point submission. Chin lock. Oh, you can't submit mankind. And the submission is locked in. Oh, a normal stretch. The torso. Wait a minute. Here comes Trevor Lakehouse. It's Helmsley. the game. Oh no, it's Hunter Helmsley. He's not the. Uh, well, it's gotta be the he's not right. Triple H just yet. Moonsault, Moonsault, Moonsault! And it's over! What are the ropes doing? Shawn Michaels paid the premium, the insurance policy has paid off. Are they supposed to be saying this or not? Hunter Hurst Helmsley is with Shawn Michaels! And then cheers. Up and down their spine. I've got my coffee right. Copyright. I have got a single night, single night. I don't like copyright. Shawn Michaels is victorious on this 1997 episode of Monday Night Raw. It's Shawn Michaels and Hunter Hearst Helmsley have never tagged before, but facing these two WWE monsters, HBK played coy about his relationship with Helmsley earlier in the night, but it was clear they're on the same page right from the beginning. Michaels and Helmsley knew they couldn't defeat The Undertaker, but they would do anything to keep from being pinned. We're in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Approaching the ring from Greenwich, 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And how about this match, King? The 1997 King of the Ring winner, Hunter Hearst Helmsley, teaming up with the charismatic Shawn Michaels to take on Mankind and the former WWE Champion, The Undertaker. Undertaker's not the WWE Champion because of Shawn Michaels. All four of these men have history together. And much like you, Ross, it's not pretty. There is Hunter with Oach Joy playing his way to the ring. I wonder if he still has that coat because it looks awesome. Not quite yet Triple H. Still not quite Jean-Paul Levesque like he was in WCW or terrorizing. But Hunter first Helmsley. Comes Shawn Michaels. Aim to join the old school logo down the bottom corner as well. How will the giant ego of Michaels coexist with Helmsley? Will mankind and Undertaker, who have battled on numerous occasions, be able to trust each other? This is one of the great matches that you will see only in WWE. And ladies and gentlemen, it is up next. I wonder when they went to the Scratch logo. It was, I think it was maybe early 98, but I don't know for sure. But again, I've mentioned this is my first playthrough of this game in eight years. So I'm counting it as a first playthrough. So I have no idea what happens with the storylines or the matches or any hidden objectives or anything you need to do. It's just purely on my own. Introducing first, weighing 287 pounds, Mankind. So my reactions will be 100% legitimate. I might not know a secret objective to do. I'll tell you if I look something up. I'll try not to. But after I look something up, I'll have a look. I'll probably skip Mankind's entrance. I'm just wary of skipping any of the extra commentary. 1997 Undertaker is not quite in the ministry yet. I do like that ministry theme, which is awesome. This is his original theme. Start the purple gloves during this time, 1997. I think it's just before he went to a more It's a kind of transition time between like uh, purple and grey blood Undertaker and the more Ministry of Darkness, more evil based character. It's kind of in between the two in this time. Did like the Ministry Undertaker though, that was pretty cool. The Corporate Ministry, uh, I'm not so sure. But he had a couple of absolutely belting themes during this time. And this is definitely one I need to shout and scream over the top of because if you go and check out my WWE 2K18 Royal Rumble on the Nintendo Switch, The Undertaker's entrance went for about four minutes, but I had to cut about two minutes out because it was flagged, even though I talked over the whole thing. Sometimes it doesn't matter how much you chat over the top, because Undertaker looking awesome, it can still get flagged up. This is the hardest thing about playing these old wrestling games other things or even worse than their wrestlers entrances is when you get to smackdown vs raw 2006 7 era they just have these soundtracks playing in the background the whole time which are popular so i forgot to turn one off so if you check out my jeff hardy playthrough smackdown vs raw 2007 that has music for the full seven hours and i couldn't take it out so that's just a video for everyone to enjoy but here he is, Mean Mark Callis, ready for action. Why would anybody want to start this match? Undertaker does, and I think Mankind does. How effective are Shawn Michaels and Hunter Hearst Helmsley going to be as a team against these two monsters? Well, that remains to be seen, Jerry. 
But I know one thing, it won't be long before we find out. Okay, strangely at the start of the match I played just before, it showed me how I could get weapons from under the ring, and I don't know why I whipped him there, I meant to do a grapple, no grapple. It showed me where, how I could get weapons from under the ring, which uh, made me think it was a no disqualification match, so I tried to use a chair and I got disqualified. So starting it again. I was so confused. So we need to get Mankind's damage to moderate. I I say I'm still warming up to this game. Played a lot of WWF Warzone just before this. So those controls were completely different. I had to write out the whole moveset on a piece of paper. I'm just getting back to this era's controls. I should have just kept playing, to be honest. Oh, I thought that was a breaking point submission. It was not. Still only on normal. This will be the era where Bret Hart was the champion. It was Bret Hart versus The Undertaker at SummerSlam. And Sean accidentally hit The Undertaker in the head with a chair. Bret retained, and we know Bret would go on to lose the championship at 1997 Survivor Series in the infamous Montreal Screwjob. I was going to say famous, but infamous is probably the better word. to the fact that if they don't work as a team, they're going to get their butts kicked. Or maybe even worse, another shot with the boot. And there's an elbow drop. Oh, counted the big chop. Maybe Mankind can all of a right. sudden become I'll his let him tag ego. out. Dude love and do a little bit better. What do you think? I don't know, but Mankind needs to get a tag made here. He sees his opponent blind. Oh, Spear. Nobody can get inside your head. If you're not down with that, no, he's not in DX yet, but he's got the DX attire. There we go. We need to make it historically accurate. Got a signature, which is good. We'll take a signature. All right, tag Undertaker. Oh, here we go again. We didn't really want him to be there. Now we're seeing some mind games from Helmsley. And if you're not down with that, I got three words for you. Hunter vs. Tomsley. Alright, tag on to take up. And there's the count. Get out, Shawn Michaels. Get out, you're gonna cause me in the match. Get out. Three. And again, he bails from the ring. Well, you look at the arrogance here from Hillsley. Oh, I could just attack on Taker, I suppose. He doesn't have to be tagged in. I've just forgotten how to change people. Are you serious? Talk about putting your career on the line. I've got the controls here. I need to have a look. He's able to I want to take his in. And he's getting out of there. Back they go into the ring. Hunter Hurst Helmsley looking to end it. Pedigree straight away. As Michael strike Undertaker with a chair. All right, we can do that. I see why that was hidden. Oh, that's cool. That was what I wanted to do. Bring him in. Grab his leg. The released suplex. The Undertaker is just so skilled. Look at that reversal. And there we go. The Michael does in. He makes the tag. He calls oh, that's why it was telling me to have the weapon before. The now it makes sense. The ring. This could get interesting. I let the chair go. Two. I don't know why I have to hit him in the ring. And it's Steve over. It just, is over. My God, what a shot with a chair. A clear view of the referee. He had the call for the bell. Oh, oh no. I don't believe it. Can anybody 
stop the Undertaker. No one can stop the Undertaker. We are live at one night only in Birmingham, England. So I'm never quite sure whether they're going to put some commentary down the bottom, so I don't want to skip it too early. Sometimes I'll just wait. But here he is, Hunter Hurst Helmsley. Passing off against Dude Low, one of Mankind's three faces of Foley, he's got Mankind. Look at the size of his hair. I think he's got a perm as well. He's got Mankind, he's got Cactus Jack, and of course he's got the Dude. Not the Dude from the Big Lebowski, but Dude Low. Former Tag Team Champions with Stoke Cold Steve Austin. And you may have seen on an episode of Porn Stars where someone brings in one of these Dude Love shirts and they never really sold that many because the tie-dye company couldn't guarantee that they would all be the same. So I don't think they really released a lot of these tie-dye shirts and they are quite rare. But they can be diff slightly different variants as well. Oh, the knocking knee dance. Takes me back, school disco. Pretty much just have to hit the pedigree and win in or pin him in 10 seconds after the pedigree. pedigree. Easy for me to say. Jay. I'll just leave you with JR and the King. Terrible wrestling at the start from Triple H. He's enjoying this. That one went wide. A textbook suplex. Beautiful back suplex. I do like this limb targeting system as well, so you can keep targeting the head as well. My head as well, twice, so. Let's give him a back suplex as well. Triple H not known for going to the top rope, must be an axe handle smash. It is! Crown him, King, crown him! Great counter from the dude. Just makes me keep thinking of um, the big Lebowski. Which I only watched for the first time at the end of last year, so I don't know if you've ever seen it, but uh, I think it's a 15, so if you're over 15, you can watch it. Getting dominated by the dude. Come on, Triple H. He's getting out of there. Get the shovel out. Whoa, watch out. Is this on the network? I don't think I've ever seen this pay-per-view. I've seen pretty much all the pay-per-views. Maybe I'll have to go have a look later. I have been watching, though, some 2001 Raw with the invasion oh, angle. So the last one I watched was when Stephanie got announced as the owner of ECW. And then the one after that. It's like things that I forgot that happened completely. That Chris Jericho was tag team champion and hardcore champion at the same time. I mean, nobody remembers that at all. Because he wins the hardcore title and then Rhino beats him for him straight away on the ramp. Like, I never remember Jericho becoming hardcore champion. And then Kurt Angle getting a WCW title shot. There we go, signature time. It's not the most exciting match. Straight to the pedigree in the middle, so they have to drag him. Yeah, I'm going to look up this pay per view. Big pedigree. Oh, what, nine seconds? I thought the replay was going to take up some of my time. Which was strained on the 2K switch. They showed a replay and time stopped. And it's over. It's probably unboxed Dude Love. Oh, to do it. Reminds me of Peggle. The Peggle 2. Like when you clear all the pegs.
DX music. It comes Shawn Michaels, and I have had the story of this match. Ladies and gentlemen, one night only here in Birmingham, England, has been tremendous thus far. And we have this huge match left to go as Shawn Michaels sets his sights on the European Championship and becoming what he calls a Grand Slam Champion. I think this was originally scheduled to be Shawn Michaels versus the Bulldog with the Bulldog going over, so... He dedicated this match to one of his family members who was suffering from cancer, which is okay when you're gonna win, and then pretty horrific when you don't. Do 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 yeah, well, these idiots here in England are in for a rude awakening. I think their favorite son, the British Bulldog, is going to lose his European Championship tonight. Well, Shawn Michaels is in peak condition, but so is the Bulldog. Either way, this is going to be a great one. Part of when Davy Boy was part of the Hart Foundation. He canceled that terribly with... Bret Hart, Owen Hart, Jim Neidhart, and uh, who else was in there? Brian Pillman. The following matchup is for the European Championship, which I'm pretty sure if they didn't have this European Championship, that they could have called the NXT UK title, they could have called it the NXT European Championship, but because this belt was held in such low prestige, they couldn't really bring it back. And call it the same this thing, even though it's an NXT UK, it's more NXT Europe. Between these two incredible athletes. Well, I said earlier that it was going to be Michaels tonight because you have to look at the pressure on the British Bulldog. He's the bigger man, he's the stronger man, he has the hometown support, and he's the defending champion. Well, with those odds, it seems like the deck is stacked against Shawn Michaels. But then again, Shawn has that insurance policy, and we know he oh, can. I've got to go off the top right. Moonsault! Huge moonsault. Two elbow drops. It's weird Davy starts with a finisher. Give me a running power slam straight away. It's a shame David Hart Smith never really came along in WWE. I know he's wrestled around the world. I think it's part of the Killer Elite squad. With Lance Hoyt. Oh no, not Lance Hoyt. Oh, Dallas. Lance Archer. Lance Archer. Lance Hoyt. Oh, Dallas. He was in TNA like 17 years ago, which is just absolutely insane. He feels like this kind of fresh new up and comer in AEW. Lance Archer. He's been around for nearly 20 years. It's insane. Some people in wrestling that just don't seem to age. It's almost like Davy Boy coming back in '99 seemed like this relic from the past. I was only seven years removed from main eventing Wembley with Bret Hart, and then guys like Lance Archer have been around for 20 years, and Christopher Daniels and AJ Styles. I've just been around forever, like Kazarian. He's been around nearly 20 years. Robert Roode. You go back to 2002, 3 Ring of Honor and TNA. Lots of those guys still wrestling now. Samoa Joe. Kind of had one of his peak years, 2004. Trilogy against CM Punk, 2005. Faced Kenta Kabashi. Some battles against Takeshi Morishima. Some peak, peak Ring of Honor. Nigel McGuinness. 
And that attack was dodged. It's going to take a while to hit two signature elbows. I couldn't even hit one signature elbow before. And did you hear the impact on that kick? So we did the Vader. We went for the flying nothing, Vader didn't move. Oh, what a shot! Right in the face! Michaels is pulling out every stop to We got blow. two words for you. He hits the high risk move. Well, what's he gonna do to follow that up? Oh, what That's a my signature. Tick. Oh no. And the showstopper connects. There we go. Looks like he's having trouble staying in the ring. They don't want your signature for too long either because it just in turns into now. a finisher. Go, 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 go. Yeah! One signature elbow. Look out! Oh, he got Triple H. We won't pin him, though. No pin, no pin. Oh, he's busted wide open. That didn't happen in real life. Look at this, it's locked in. Million dollar dream. Two. Let him kick out. I do like if you let him kick out, actually kicks oh, out. Doesn't just pull him off the map, because that's pretty insulting. Oh, that can break your tailbone. So I thought he was going to stay up. I hope you're having a good day wherever you are as well. If you are enjoying force. these videos, are good fun to play through after a long time. Another Slide. signature. It's just extending it out. One elbow drop was probably enough. Sadly, Davey never WWF champion as well. Would have been good to have a. Oh, nice. He would have been the first English WWE champion. Bulldogs in an atomic drop. That'll buckle your knees. Driving the knee into the opponent. Brutality. Oh, my God, drop. How's he going out of the ring? Whoa, watch out! The announce table is getting torn. Oh, man, you talk about... Oh, awesome dropkick, even though he hurt himself. Sometimes when you go high risk, you crash Bowling and shoe burn. ugly. Come on, Sean. You knock it out of the park. And that was a perfect example of hitting it big. Let's see if I can move him from here. Oh yes, amazing. Get a replay of that. Shano Max style elbow. Surely that should have given me a signature. There we go, signature, signature. I forgot how to flip him over. Oh, there we go. That's good. That's good. He'll go down. Win by submission. I'll do a breaking point submission. Sweet. Chin. Music. Where's his braids going? I love, I love the braids. Oh, it's rolled out of the ring again. Oh, breaking point submissions coming. Straight kick. They are locked up. This is intense right here. Oh, he's got that in deep. Yes, gonna win with an abdominal stretch. Go, no, Sean. Sean's one with an abdominal stretch. I mean, whoops, what's going on there? Press it too hard. Sean wins. Sean wins. How bad did Sean Michaels want the European Championship? Actually, one with he a brought in the insurance policy. He brought in Helmsley. And this sellout crowd here in Birmingham is living. I told you, JR. I told you. Sean Michaels is the first ever Grand Slam champion in the WWE. Will you look at that arrogance? Michaels, the new European champion. Imagine Europe being represented by Sean Michaels. My God, this is just awful.
We're in New York City, New York. From Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing 244 pounds, Hunter Hurst Helsley. And we are back live here in New York City. Hunter Hurst Helsley set to meet Dude Love in a Falls Count Anywhere matchup. And what a heinous pair Helsley and Michaels make especially after what they did to the British Bulldog in Birmingham on Saturday night. Well, those two are bad news, all right, but I have it on good authority that Michaels isn't here tonight. So this will just be Dude Love and Helmsley. Is this where Cactus Jack comes out? Or is that a little bit later? I'm sure this is the one where Cactus Jack comes out and he gives him a pile driver through the table on the stage. I'm absolutely sure. Cactus Jack's debut. I could be wrong, though. I'm enjoying playing it blind, though. I'm enjoying not reading through what the matches are, what happens. And it's not too difficult to complete all the objectives as well. Weighing in at 287 pounds, Dude some heavy duty booty all over the building. Well, Hunter, I think it's time we have a little rap. Oh, oh, because you see, Falls Count Anywhere is not exactly my bag, baby. But I know somebody, Daddy, whose bag it indeed is. He's my man, my main man. You might even say, Daddy, a kind man. Ha <laughs> ha, a kooky type of cat. Let's bring him out right now. Mankind, my main mandible, up high, down low, ow, you're too slow. Hi, dude. You really are eye candy for the chicks. That much I know, Daddy, but you gotta tell me about this wacky match. Falls count anywhere. Dude, as much as I've dreamed about destroying Hunter Hearst Helmsley, ha <laughs> ha, I know you have. I know someone who dreams about it even more. Oh no, are you thinking what I think you're thinking? I think I am thinking, but you think I think you're thinking. Can you bring him out, Manny? Here he comes. Where is he? Cactus Jack is back. Cactus Jack is back. It might be the darkest day of your life because it's New York and Mrs. Foley's little boy is home. Bye bye. Have mercy. Ego of Mick Foley. Yes, there's mankind. Here we go, smack him with a trash can. But we've never seen Cactus yes. Jack until tonight. Oh, listen to these moronic fans. This has got to be the blackest day in history. Do I have to have a finisher? Slam him through a normal table. Stone Cold Stutter. But now Cactus Jack is here. Cactus Jack is as hardcore. Cactus Jack as is back. and falls count anywhere right anywhere in the ring or outside of it out on the floor and underneath the ring there's no telling what's under this ring they are so much so yeah, these in order the i think there's weird things under there I'm... oh with the table boy oh boy i'm not sure that you do actually i think you're... he's picked up a table not a lot of spring left in his step right now what a knife edge chop Taking him back into the ring now. That was a noxious elbow right to the face. He's focusing on the right. body. This now. was the this was the We're hunter and cactus match. Bit by bit. But it's weird because the match graphic just said um Dude Lock, but that's obviously the that idea. DDT. That's the swerve. Oh, nice block. Remember this, this used to be on a, like, Jeez. best of Raw to the gut. VHS. You remember uh -oh. those? Look where he's going uh, Kane. Oh no. Did I get a hammer? Oh, I didn't get anything. Man, DDT right on his face. You need the obligatory Foley no. stair spot as well. Cactus Jack turns things around. An incredible series of moves there. Nobody's budging an inch in this one. 
Yeah, Singapore game. A wrong way. Turn around. That cane's an effective weapon. Goodness. Oh, with the cane again. The cane being used again. And he unloads with everything he's got. And there's a hard right hand. Cactus Jack is relentless. He really stares. Oh, whoa. Those steps being used as a weapon. Come on, Rob. Get in there and get that thing away from Again with the steel steps. Oh, that's a good shot. That's good. Good Lord. Another shot with that porn object. Oh, Bulldog. It's like the study to Audi Bulldog. Who do do this OMG finisher? Is it? There we go, in the corner. Cactus clothesline. Cactus clothesline. Oh no, it's a spear through the barrier. Spear! Second ever match was in WWE as as Jack Foley. This match has taken so much out of this guy. He's not going to give up. But man, this has been physical. I know this was on the entrance way. Achilles? Oh no, it's not worry about it. I was going to put it on the entrance way. Give my pile driver through it. It's probably going to be too hard. Those steps are reinforced steel. Hey, man. And he's trying to use them as a weapon. Cactus Jack taking advantage. Right, I'm just going to put this table in the corner. Generally easier. Oh no, that's the wrong button. He's got a nasty looking object in his hands. If you hit him with the table, it puts them on, but not if they're facing the wrong way. But then I'll get better. Better at this game as it goes along. So by the time you're watching the end. There we go. Give me a fire driver. He's a kind of good guy, works well. Big elbow through the table. Huge elbow drop. Get up, get up. Pin him. It's force count anywhere. Shouldn't have rope breaks. Fully wins. Cactus Jack is victorious. No way! Cactus Jack wins it! Cactus Jack wins! It's unbelievable! Cactus Jack has defeated Hunter Hearst Helmsley here in New York City. Bang bang. Cactus Jack have a match at Survivor Series? It's probably in one of the Survivor Series tags, I don't remember. I think then he started teaming with Terry Funk in 1998. The Cactus Jack and his magical hair are victorious here tonight. They're the greatest fans in the world. They're right here at WWE. Jim Ross and Jerry the King Lawler at ringside. And we're getting ready to hear from Shawn Michaels. Yeah, Shawn's got that match against The Undertaker coming up. Well, it's not just a match. It's going to be hell in a cell. I'm sure we're going to hear more from Michaels about what he thinks about that and possibly his relationship with Helmsley as well. And let's go to the wise ass of the WWE, perhaps the most talented individual in the history of the WWE as well. But just how, or I should say, how in the hell are you going to get out of the cell in the hell, Shawn Michaels? So I'll tell you, Vin Man. Cell in the hell. I don't have to get out of hell in the cell because I showed everybody last week that the initial outlaws of the world wrestling 
Triple H and HBK. We came, we saw, and we kicked the dead man's ass. The WWE F. and Vince McMahon. You've always been afraid of click I'll try and put the F in. Get the F in. Well, this is one click that you're never gonna break up. Hunter Hearst Helmsley and HBK. Now, I've been sitting back for a couple of years while you and the WWE F. have kissed the ass of all these so-called superstars of the WWE. F. Well, let's face it. You got a little something on your ear there. None of them. Not one could lace my boots. And my good friend just pointed that out to me. So instead of sitting back and waiting for my break, I'm now taking it in my hands. And there is no stopping us. And as far as The Undertaker, Undertaker, tonight, I'm going to enjoy kicking your dead ass all around this building. It's Triple H once more. Coming out to the Peggle music again. And we're set for In Your House Bad Blood Hell in a Cell, Undertaker, Sean, Michael. I assume that's what you're going to call this. Because the Undertaker's entrance once again, Purple Smoke filling up the arena. What a legend of the business. You don't want to go making The Undertaker mad, especially before you face him in Hell in a Cell. Tonight, will Hunter Hearst Helmsley rest in peace? Or do Michaels and Helmsley have something planned? We will find out next. I don't know what show it was from, but Undertaker was going through a storage unit of his uh, with some dude and his wife, uh, Michelle McCall. I mean, it said Sarah. Whoops. Um, not Sarah, Michelle McCall. And he found his... Uh, face mask, that face plate he wore when Mabel broke his face and also one of his original jackets which is pretty cool as well. So Hunter Hearst Helmsley set to take on The Undertaker and of course not far away is Helmsley's new best buddy Shawn Michaels. And again King, you gotta figure that Helmsley and Michaels will do anything to soften up The Undertaker before this Sunday. Well, Undertaker better keep his eyes on Michaels because I think you're right. Undertaker might feel steel tonight and it better oh, get used to it because that's all he's going to feel in Hell in a Cell. Taker's in trouble. What a bad break. A fierce kick. I'm right, going to get Undertaker's help to critical, which I assume it's just a regular match. I'll be searching in my tights for a white flag I can wave. He just turned him Side out. Ow, what an elbow. Oh, what a painful kick. He's putting those educated feet to good use. He bites it off. Give me a vessel from Hunter. Remember they had a match for the Intercontinental Championship where uh, they were in some... I don't even know where they were, but Undertaker ended up tombstoning Triple H on an escalator. And then he went down the escalator. Which I was just really worried for his getting his hair caught in the escalator because that is not something you want when you've got long hair. You've got long hair, it's, it does get caught in a lot of things. That one went wild. Ten punch. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no. Undertaker, way too experienced to get caught by that. Nice 
going to be hard to get on this tank. It's a critical. Maybe I'm meant to whip him outside to Shawn Michaels. His association with Michael. A much more lethal, a much more Might dangerous the ref. Ref. in the past month. And speaking of dangerous, think about the Hell in a Cell match this Sunday and how dangerous that's going to be. Well, Hell in a Cell is likely a perfect fit for the Undertaker. One has to think oh, that Michael's no mistake. will be out of his element come this Sunday. Now, I'm not sure if Shawn Michaels is ever out of his element. It wasn't that long ago that he went to England into the Bulldogs' backyard and beat him. Well, I think Michael's days are number key. The terrific match as well that Hell in a Cell. If I remember rightly, was it a Meltzer five-star rated match? I think that was the last Meltzer five-star rated match until John Cena, Sam Punk at Hell in a Cell. Sorry, at Money in the Bank 2011. If I'm not remembering wrong, I think... Hell in a Cell five stars, and then it was 14 years until another five star match. And I don't know if WWE have had other five star matches. I'm sure they have. I would Tyler Bate and Pete Dunne. Do they have a five star match? Maybe I have to look it up in between. Undertaker counters it. In between this match and the next match, WWE five star matches. Those are the only two I know off the top of my head. Oh, Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, WrestleMania 25 has to be five stars because that is my favorite match of all time. And it's not like they're my sentimental favorites either. Strike Undertaker with a chair. Like, I like Undertaker and Shawn Michaels, but they're not like my absolute favorite. So for that to be my favorite match of all time, Means it's just so awesome. Boom! Take that. Hey, he's coming into the ring. Oh, come on, come on! Helmsley getting his licks in on the Undertaker. Are they gonna put him in a body bag? Sweet chin music. Oh, and look what they've got for him! A body bag. Finally, the Undertaker is gonna rest in peace. Oh, I've been waiting forever to see this. I can't believe this. Helmsley and Michaels have placed The Undertaker in a damn body bag. A huge psychological advantage for Shawn Michaels. Look what he's done. And Michaels can't believe it. He's sitting up. He's sitting up in the body bag. Oh, my goodness. The Undertaker is that is insane. The Phenom is going to corner Michaels. The Undertaker's going after Michaels. Undertaker's going to get him. Run away, Sean. Run away. Michaels will have nowhere to run this Sunday in the hell. In your Sunday. house, 18. Oh, bad blood. It was indeed a five star match. I'll talk about more five star matches during the ring introductions oh, at Bad Blood. Run. run away. Get him, Undertaker. Oh, Tombstone on the stage. Just like he did to Linda McMahon. Oh, no, that was Kane. That's pretty cool. At SummerSlam in 1997, a crushing moment created a bitter rivalry. Shawn Michaels cost The Undertaker the world title at SummerSlam. Shawn Michaels, you pay for your crime. It's great storytelling Instead here. Facing the dead man's consequences, the heartbreak kid would amplify his SummerSlam actions in a devastating instant. My God, what a shot to the face! Here's Rick Rude. Why is the Rick Rude in this? He's afraid of Shawn Michaels. Hell in the cell, bad blood. It will be your final rest in place. The Phenom would seek retribution from Shawn Michaels within the confines of an unprecedented diabolical structure. There is no escape. Two men enter, only the Undertaker leaves. As God is my witness.
That's gonna be Kane. We're in the ring already. Like that before in my life. No and ring entrances. Isn't stopping. Michaels has been beat to a pulp by the Undertaker. Somebody has to stop him. How is Michaels still competing? This is ungodly. Come back time. HBK with a hard right. Uh oh. Michaels sees the opportunity. I press. I press square. I press square. Maybe you have to keep pressing it or hold it down. Because I was I pressed that twice. I'm probably just getting beaten and I'm busted right open. Alright, I'm just pressing it but oh I didn't I didn't time it correctly. I think you have to press it at the right time. That's really strange. Keep doing my comeback. Into the elbow. Terrible, terrible, terrible suplex. Elbow! Hits him on the wrong side, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Sweet chin music. I can't believe I kicked out of those pins. HBK sees the opportunity and it goes running. HBK with a hard right. Thrown out of play. Oh, whoa. That was an insane move. There was no hesitation there. This one's all business. Taker's in trouble. Oh, and that's exactly why these steel cage matches are so dangerous. Keep using the cell. And again, those oh, he's got to be in the ring. Undertaker. All right, now what happens? Oh, now I gotta win the match. Or is that it? What the hell is this? Where's Paul Bearer? Everyone's busted wide open. Take that all head now. Yeah, this definitely was a five-star match. He's huge. It's Isaac Yankum DDS. That's how we ended WrestleMania 25. I could still lose here. No! Oh, that's so close. Sweet gin music out of nowhere. And that'll be all. One, two, three. HBK wins. HBK wins. Wide open.
Triple H is back once again. While we're doing these ring introductions, WWF five star matches in the 1990s. Interestingly, there are four of them. And they both contain, they all contain Shawn Michaels or Bret Hart. And Hunter accepted. And Triple H, as he likes to be called, seems even more arrogant and pompous than Shawn Michaels. Yeah, I wasn't sure he'd compete here tonight or not. I thought he might have suffered a rotator cuff injury for patting himself on the back so much. So the first one was Razor Ramon versus Shawn Michaels, the latter match from WrestleMania 10. Then we had Bret versus Owen at SummerSlam, which I think was a steel cage match. Bret versus Stone Cold Steve Austin in a submission match. They're all gimmick matches, which is interesting at WrestleMania 13. So two in 1994 and two in 1997. And then Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker in your house, 18 bad blood. Then WWE would not have another five star match until 2011. They would actually have plenty in the 2010s, but in the 2000s, none. Here comes Bret Hart, the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. In the 2000s, interestingly, there were only seven five-star matches. What a matchup this is going to be as Hunter Hearst Helmsley faces Bret Hitman Hart the WWE so three of the four matches were from Ring of Honor in the 2000s. Joe Punk 2, Joe Kenta Kabashi, Sima Masato Yoshino, Nakuri Doi vs Dragon Kid, Genki Haraguchi and Ryo Sato. And then the triple threat Unbreakable in TNA, Daniel Styles, Joe. And then in WWE there's actually been plenty since 2011. Punk Cena, I mean it took until 2018, Andrade Cianalmas vs Johnny Gargano for a five-star match. NXT has all the rest of them. Uh, two on the same night. Strong Irish whip. Took credit for driving some of Shawn Michaels click Lord Bulldog into distracting the ref by pretty Brett when he's at critical. Too busy looking at all these five-star matches. Very distracting. They're all from NXT, which is absolutely bizarre. Bret Hart doesn't have to fight for anything. He's already champion. And what I want to talk about is just how now, now, I don't know if you don't That's the Rick Flair name, I think it was. King, WCW. They do exist. Oh, there's no question about it. But in any event, we have a match featuring some of the top athletes in the industry today. Not 10 years ago, but today. He's left the ring. This could get interesting. Big high knee, big high knee. Hunter would go on to become European champion as well. Dude, I think he wrestled Owen Hart at the WrestleMania 15. Pedigree early, Bret Hart's still on normal. Big pedigree on the excellence of execution. Now he's to moderate. He's got his driver's license, got his letter jacket, and the keys to his daddy's car, and he's cool. Remember, this is a non-title challenge match. Red Hart issued the challenge, and Hillsley accepted. And what Hart wants to do is dismantle the click. There we go. Excellent meeting those objectives. Shawn Michael Super Kick. Boom! Bret Hart. And the official on the other side of the ring didn't see a darn thing. The referee's now counting out Bret Hart. Quickest count out ever. Up to eight now. And Bret Hart has been counted out. And your winner, as a result of a count out, Hunter first Helmsley. Unbelievable. There's going to be hell to pay at Survivor Series. Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels were polar opposites. From the beginning, the groundwork was laid for a fierce rivalry. 
just want to say one thing, Shawn Michaels, I can promise you for 60 minutes, you were in for the absolute worst pounding of your entire life. The historic Iron Man match did nothing to settle their issues. Zero, zero, because no one wanted to take a hold. Fuel the fire. Just because I choose to live my life openly and freely does not make you a better man. As the taunting unfolded, their bitter feelings intensified. You're nothing but a degenerate. You're the most arrogant, pompous guy I've ever seen. I thought I could do it. You're way out to me now. You'd like to hit me. It's Doc Hendricks. You don't have the insight. Doc Hendricks. And this here is what it's all about. And until you have this, you will never, ever, ever be the showstopper. Red Heart, you are a zero, my hero. I'm gonna kick your little scrawny ass. A story full of twists and turns saw Bret Hart's contract negotiations become the focal point of what would become they their just signed final a 20-year contract the year before. You keep turning up my night. Everybody in that dressing room knows that I'm the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. I don't think there's ever been a rivalry that has been talked about as much worldwide as this issue between Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels. And the smart money is, is that you will never, ever see it again. Never, ever be the same again. Oh, we're backstage. I'll do whatever you want. I just want you to know that. F that. If Brett doesn't want to do business, then we need to do business for him. You all know what time it is. It's time for the Montreal Screwjob. Really surprising there's no screen for this show either. those five star Two matches after JR, after JR. Two of the most premier athletes in the history of the WWE are moments away from locking up right here in Montreal. Ah, oh, this is what it's all about. How many times have we heard Shawn Michaels say he won't lay down for anybody? And how many times have we heard Bret Hart say he's the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be? Well, it's time to put up or shut up. One of them will put up and the other will be shut up. Here comes the excellence of execution. His last match in the WWFE for 14 years until he faced Vince McMahon at WrestleMania 27. Well, folks, this is very personal. This match is going to be stick. It's going to be physical. The competition couldn't be any keener than it is right now. It's Brett versus Sean one-on-one. -on -one. We had two five-star matches from TakeOver New Orleans in 2018. It was the six-way ladder match for the um, North American Championship. Adam Cole, EC3, Killian Dane, Lars Sullivan, Ricochet, Velveteen, Dream. I remember watching that. I don't think that was five stars. Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, five stars. Yes. From an episode of NXT, Mustache Mountain vs. The Undisputed Era, I think when they exchanged the belts. Uh, also 2019, Adam Cole, Johnny Gargano, TakeOver New York, 5.5 stars. Johnny Gargano, Adam Cole, TakeOver 25, 5.25, and Walter Tyler Bate, 5.25. Gee, Walter vs. Ilya Dragunov must have been like 4.75, that match was awesome. Here we are, it's for the WWF Championship, the infamous Montreal screw job about to take place. King, these two men truly believe that they are the best. It's all about the power, Ross. Bret Hart wants to damage the goods of Shawn Michaels so badly. A lot of speculation about Bret Hart and his future. Everybody thinks that they know the story 
and that they have the answer. It is very likely, ladies and gentlemen, that this is the last time that these two superstars will ever meet in the ring. And it definitely was. The next time Bret Hart would have a match in WWE would be at WrestleMania 27 against Vince McMahon in a match that was brutally long and almost made Bret Hart the heel and Vince the face because old Vince just got pasted 15 minutes. It was horrible. But they had quite a few verbal confrontations during their feud. Sean would say Bret had been enjoying some sunny days, insinuating some funny business with Sonny while Brett was already married. Brett would make fun. Hey, Vince is out here. WWF. Brett would make fun of Sean for appearing in Playgirl magazine. Bit of athleticism from Shawn Michaels. I can't remember where I was up to with these five-star matches either, but that six-way ladder match was definitely not a five-star match. We also had Dagano Champa. He had a few others. Mustache Mountain, Undisputed Era. I think I already went through those. Let's do a big dive. I might try the dive down here. I'll wrap out the way. Ref, fake Earl Hebner out the way. Sean's going to the top. Oh, beautiful elbow. Absolutely beautiful. And if you're not down with that, we've got two words for you. I think it should be Earl Hebner, but he was fired for allegedly selling counterfeit merchandise. And I think during this time he was working for TNA. So they've just replaced him with somebody with way more hair. Oh, he's tripped over the stairs. I don't want to hit him with the stairs. So I'm pretty pretty sure that historical objective is win with a sharpshooter. Or at least put the sharpshooter on. I can't remember how to steal finishes. Oh, and the sound of that slap can be heard throughout the building. Keep Brett still got all his health. It's like the Iron Man match. Show their appreciation for these amazing competitors? Oh, flying for him out of the Here ring. That is awesome. Back into the ring now. Neck break off. Look at one of these springboard moves. Oh, he does. He's dropping from the sky. I think in some of the other versions, they had to do a little bounce off the ropes to do the springboard. Oh, it's a little world backbreaker! I don't know if I'm doing play-by-play play or... Play-boy. <laughs> play-by-play or colour here. Nice submission hold here. Controlling the body. Now a quick kick. Body slam. Michaels is unusually methodical at this point of the match. He is the European champion. And by the way, the European championship is not at stake. Yeah, you're right. This one is about the WWE championship. <laughs> and quite possibly about the future of Bret Hart. And their opponent taken back into that ring. Whoa! Wow! Going all in and man did it. Let's whip him into jail. Sometimes when you go Good old out, jail. You crash and burn. And sometimes you knock it out of the park. And that was a perfect example of hitting it big. Hey, what's JR doing in that beige suit? He always talks about wearing docks on Grill and JR. Michael's not letting up for a second. The hitman seems to have lost. Oh, perform the sharpshooter. I'm not sure there's anything he can do. They were very well matched going into this one. All he can hope for at this point is that his opponent makes a mistake. What? What is this? Sharpshooter's on, the sharpshooter's on. Ring the bell! Yes, he is. Are you kidding me? I've got the sharpshooter on. What happened? Red Hart gave up. Look at Sean acting surprised. He was in on it. Of course he was. He was so in on it. His breath. W. C. 
W. There we go, he does it. Now we're back with Mankind. Oh, we're still at the Survivor Series. But this match happened before the one we just played. There's already been 21 five star or above matches in the 2020 so far, which is more than the 2000s put together. Any from WWE? No, but quite a few from AEW. They have five, including a six star and a 5.25. Omega Page versus the Young Bucks, six stars. Best Friends versus Santana and Ortiz, five stars. Young Bucks versus. The Revival or FTR. Young Bucks are only three times. That's gotta be Kane. Heaps from NJPW. Names you're probably really familiar with. Osprey Takahashi, Takada Ibushi, Akada Naito, Ta <laughs> Takagi Osprey, Ibushi Suzuki, Ikata Takaki, Ikata Osprey, Naito Ibushi, it's just the same in rotation. Shingo Jeff Cobb, Kota Ibushi Jay White, Hiroshi Tanahashi Shingo. Osprey Zack Sabre Jr., Osprey Shingo, Osprey Shingo. Heaps of them. Now hang on, I found Walter vs. Ilya Dragunov. I finish a stored, remove the announce table cover, and do the OMG. Oh, I need a finisher. Hit Mankind with the steel stairs. An atomic drop. That That's the weird red light. We've got the Fiend light going. I know this was the original. There's Paul Bear on the outside. Why didn't he come out to the ring for Survivor Series? That's what I want to know. I seem to be really bad at starting these matches. I do want to play Shut Your Mouth in like one big go as well, like one 15, 20 hour video, so let me know if you'd like to see that. Throw them at mankind. Those steps being used as a weapon that can again with the steel steps. Oh, that should do it. I mean, how much punishment do you have to do? Oh, brutal. Those steps on that. Now being used to trap his opponent. Whoa, watch out. The announce table is getting torn down. They go heaven is in the ring again. A swift kick. Did they have a men turns? I'm pretty sure they did. Everyone means terms of WWE. Did you listen to this crowd show their appreciation for these amazing competitors? And that was Vintage King. What a close line. So I'm going to need a finisher for the announce table and then another finisher for a tombstone. Should get another weapon, but weapon doesn't seem to charge a finisher me that quickly. Oh, there we go. Signature. Spinning sidewalk slam. I love that his signature. That's a pretty boring signature. No. Oh, he's missed again. There we go. OMG, OMG. Tombstone through the announce table. That was two objectives in one. 
Oh my god. Kane I do have these trophies a long time ago, but this PlayStation 3 I'm playing on isn't linked to my original account. I've sadly got one PlayStation that only works not with the HDMI, just with the component cables. And then another PlayStation which, PlayStation, which is completely dead, and those are my two accounts. So I have to try and disable that one from the dead PlayStation so I can put it on the new one. So that when I do these playthroughs, I can still... I can actually get some more trophies, even though I think I already have these trophies from, like, 2013. I'll win by pinfall. You could pass out from a hold like that. This is a painful well, no, I'm coming again. Hold. Same thing. And used to great effect here. Just kick him. Just punch him in the kidney. The Go for the big can close line. Uh -oh. I'll pin him with that. Pin him with the can close line. Oh, geez. You know, here's a cover. And it's over. And I don't remember this match at Survivor Series at all. The Kane is victorious over Mankind at Bad Blood. I don't know why we didn't play this match first, because the title match was the main event. The Kane has won. And we're going to be getting to the end of the DX storyline. Because Shawn Michaels only really hangs around until WrestleMania. Now we've got the Road Warriors versus. Oh gee, where are we? Fayetteville, somewhere. It's the Road Warriors, the WWF Tag Team Champions. It's Hawk, it's Animal, it is the Road Warriors, the Legion of Doom, in one of their few WWF runs. Mainly a WCW and NWA tag team, but had a couple of stints in the WWF. You didn't know! Your ass better call somebody! Went through those microphone! I think of the generic tag entrance. That's a bit disappointing. They literally do have the generic entrance. It's a lot of Red Dogs parades, though. But I do apologise because Walter vs. Ilya Dragunov. I can never say his name. Dragunov was a five-star match, but it was obviously put in the 2020s, not the 2010s. I'm not used to being in the 2020s. It still freaks me out. But here comes a team, legendary team in the WWF. The Red Dog Jesse James, the badass Billy Gunn, the new. Age Outlaws. Billy Gunn's still wrestling today in All Elite Wrestling with the Gun Club, which are his sons. I think it's Austin Gunn and the other one. I can't remember. But still going strong. We'll try and forget about the time where he wrestled in TNA and would wear Tory Wilson's like boots and leg gear on a tight. They had a really random match on Raw as well, when Kane and Rob Van Dam were the tag team champions and they challenged them and the match was about three minutes and I can't remember if it was Hawk or Animal but one of them got in trouble for taking the five star frog splash and just getting straight up after. Alright, when Hawk's the legal tag partner, yeah but Animal's in the ring first so let's so we've got to do some damage again to tag out. The one Billy Gunn's in the ring. He remembers that gimmick. A very nice takedown there. What was the weird the one Billy Gunn theme he had? I try to remember it. Look at all I've got. You can make a blind man see. 
Everything you wish you had. God gave it all to me. Yeah, he didn't last long. He was IC champ, though. And has been the king of the ring. 1999 king of the ring was Billy beating x Pac in the final with a top rope famous. So not many people remember that. It's kind of in between two really good kings of king of the ring. Actually, no, because Shamrock was never a good king of the ring. But he beat Rock in the final. I think everyone just thinks Rock won it. But, you know, Austin won in 96 and Triple H won in 97. Shamrock won in 98, although everyone seems to think The Rock kind of won it. He didn't really. Had that horrible match with Dan Seven. King of the Ring 98. It's actually quite interesting to watch because it's almost like a full on shoot. If you want to see Rock in MMA, that's pretty much as close as you're going to get. But Billy being tagged most of his career, mainly according to the Summit to Wrestle with. Bruce Pritchard podcast that he has quite severe asthma, so for most of his career he has been in a, in a tag, so he can, he can tag out when needed. He had a couple of singles runs, was in TNA, and for some reason would wear Tory Wilson's gear, but it's like high leg boot things. Tag team with Brian James, the Voodoo Kin Mafia, which is Road Dog. BKM, Vincent Kennedy, I mean the uh, Voodoo Kim Mafia. And then Road Dog was also in TNA as part of a three life crew with Ron Killings. Killings? Which is R Truth. And Conan. I really liked them, I thought they were a cool duo. Alright, gotta get damage to Motto. So I'm going to run him into Billy. Oops, sorry, ref. Can I disqualify me? The ref bump. Oh, I thought going to throw Jackhammer. I know Billy used to do the Jackhammer just to annoy Goldberg. And then get people to kick out at one. Billy, what are you doing? Oh, here we go. Road Dog signature. Oh, I wanted to do the knee. Shake, rattle, and roll. Shake, rattle, and fist drop. Succeed at the WWE Attitude Moment. Which is... I don't know. And he goes. Yeah, you gotta get the belt. You gotta bring the belt from the announce table to next to the ring. Otherwise, you just get grabbed and you can't do it in time. Boom! Hit him. Not very well. And then you've got to pin Animal though, so you've got to let Hawk get a tag, which is a bit weird. Because you think you just pin him after hitting him with a title, but apparently not. Finally, Animal's in. Finally! I probably cut about six minutes of absolute horrible wrestling out. Now we just need a pin animal and we've achieved all these objectives. The hardest, most annoying one to do so far. But do I have a finisher or a signature? Neckbreaker, I've got two finishes, two famouses. One famous, it should be enough. Pin him, pin him. One, two. Finally completed all the objectives. Somebody. Oh my goodness me. The most annoying match in the playthrough so far. I had to look up how to move the tag titles. It took me about eight tries to beat it. But finally. The New Age Outlaws are your tag team champions. Look at the blood on Billy's fist. Here are your winners and the new WWF Tag Team Champions. We got the New Age Outlaws to the ring. Where are their tag titles? They must have lost them by this time. They used to flip-flop the tag team titles around a lot in 1998. So Billy's got some green gear for Degeneration X. Right, 
Dom like generally the talker of the two. Billy never said much. The tag belts. The only thing left is singles competition. So any of you guys in the back that think you're tough and don't just play a tough guy on TV, cue up your own music, stroll on down here, and see what happens. It's Dude Love. It oh. is the dude. So we need four minutes. Hit a finisher on Billy. Oh, I'm out of breath already. Mixed gas. Mixed gas. We're being joined by the road dog, Jesse James. That's one half of the tag team champions. I'll spit it out for you. I was getting to that. Well, you were taking longer than this match is going to last because Billy's going to beat him really bad and really soon. The dude was tag team champions with Stone Cold Steve Austin. I think they're the duo that defeated and ended this title reign, if I remember correctly, but I may not. It is 23 years ago, so memory a little bit hazy. That elbow did some damage. Billy Gunn looking good there with the counter. Blocks the chop. Nice. Worried about this finisher from Billy. Out of the ring. Now what's going to happen? Should be able to defeat him within the four minutes. The Running knee. knee, knee trembler. Good grief! Oh, look out! Oh man, what a headbutt! There was no place to go. Four. I think we're nearly at the end of this playthrough as well. I think there's only one match left, Five. which will be okay. And there's an elbow drop. Back into the ring now. DDT from the dude. I just think of the dude from the Big Lebowski. You ever seen that film? Oh, I think I mentioned that earlier. Oh, drop kick! Drop kick! They are locked up. This is intense right here. What generally does a lot of damage if you hold down R1 if you're playing on the PlayStation, he can target the head. Which is quite good if he's got a signature or a finisher. What, what is the dude's signature? Bulldog! The Scotty Too Hotty Bulldog! Is it double on DDT? I think it still is. What's oh, the medical claw? Medical claw. Billy, he's out. One, two, three. And we got to pin him. And it's over. The dude is victorious. Oh no, there's Road Dog. How did they get the tag belts? 